Hi, Sophia Liano here, and today I'm going to show you how to make the crust for a raw pumpkin cheesecake for the holidays. In fact, this crust could be used for any kind of cheesecake. Now, this is part one of a two-parter because I am collaborating with the vegetarian baker, and he is going to be showing you how to make the raw pumpkin cheesecake filling. So as soon as you've finished watching this video, you're gonna hop on over to him, the vegetarian baker, and he's gonna show you how to complete the recipe. Okay, so let's get started. These are the ingredients that you're going to need for your crust. Now I've chosen to use superfood ingredients because I want this crust to be very healthy. So I'm using Brazil nuts. They're very high in selenium and all kinds of uh, nutrients that you need. I'm using pecan nuts, very high in antioxidants. We've got goji berries. These are great for your eyes and extremely high in antioxidants. We're using walnuts. These are the most important food in prevention of breast cancer. We're using hemp hearts. These are hemp seeds. We've got shredded unsweetened coconut, and then I have dates pitted. And then I have here coconut butter, not to be confused with coconut oil. It is coconut butter. And then finally, optional ingredients are vanilla and cinnamon. So this is so easy to do. I'm gonna show you how we get started with this. The first thing is I have a little pie dish here. Now, what I've done is I've cut out a circular parchment paper because I wanna be sure that this thing is going to be able to come out. Onto this, I'm going to sprinkle my unsweetened uh, coconut. This is because it'll stop it sticking and also it provides a nice tasty uh, boost to the base. So I really like doing that. Okay, now we've got that just ready and waiting. The next thing is I'm gonna use a food processor here. The food processor I'm using is the Breville sous chef, which by the way, I am so completely obsessed with this Breville machine. It has changed my life in the kitchen. For some reason, it just, it really is a sous chef. It's, it's ridiculous. So what we're gonna do with this is I'm simply going to pop my ingredients in there. Um, this is another reason that I love this. It's so easy. All the ingredients just go straight in like this. This is a no-bake recipe, and I've chosen it to be raw because of the health keeping the integrity the enzymes in all the ingredients i think is really really important uh, but if you're not that into raw food you could always bake this in the oven and i will give you the instructions of how to do that now in goes my coconut butter coconut butter you'll find at most health food in every single health food store actually um, and i'm popping in a couple of tablespoons of that now, I'm going to pop in, again, these are optional, these ingredients. If you wanted a little vanilla -y, I'm eyeballing about one teaspoon of vanilla extract and uh, about a pinch of, um, well, actually, that was about three pinches of vanilla. Okay, so in it goes, and there we go. You see how long that actually you're going to give it a tiny bit more you want it to resemble i want to show you here you want it to resemble sort of very coarse sand so i need to blend it a little bit more and you'll see when i take it out exactly how i want it that should be good now yep that is absolutely perfect so that's like a uh, really coarse wet sand all right now to finish off let me just move these out of the way. I am simply going to empty all of my filling ingredients into here. It's so pretty as well because you see the goji berries, which actually I think just make it so seasonal um, for the holidays because we're doing this lovely pumpkin um, filling or the vegetarian baker is going to I can't wait to try his filling I've got two of these bases ready to go and I am going to be cheese vegan cheesecaked up me and my family and we so we love vegan cheesecakes lime I make a good key lime one but I'm so excited for this pumpkin one because guess what I am going to be serving this when my family come and stay with me for the holidays and I know that they're gonna love it and they won't believe it's raw so that's that 
and I'm going to pop that in the freezer for about an hour or of course I can wrap it up and then freeze it now in time for the holidays and you want to take it out about two hours before you're going to serve it and then keep it in the refrigerator and I just want to show you the finished one there's a finished one right there you see how thick it is it's the perfect thickness I like to be generous with my crust I don't want a thin crust I want enough crust that I get all that lovely crunch once I've bitten down through the creamy cheesecake. So that's it. Hop on over right now to the vegetarian baker and you're going to have the perfect dessert for the holidays.